Hey, it's Wes and welcome to Dink Life. Today we're going to do a quick review on the Air Daysling 3 Max X-Pack. That's a lot to say. Uh, this is a, this retails for $119. They make a non X-Pack version of it that's $95 and comes in gray and black. The X-Pack version though, of course, is water resistant fabric, all water resistant uh, zippers too. The dimensions of this bag is 12 by nine by three and a half inches. This is a six liter volume total bag and with nothing in it, it weighs 0.9 pounds. So they do make a non-max version of this bag. It's only three liters in size. And if you already have a City Sling 2, this is two and a half liters in size, you're only getting a half a liter in size between that. That's why I kind of went up to this because you're doubling your bag size pretty much over this bag. Well, now let's check the outside of this bag. So first it has a couple nice little hooks on each side here. There's another hook here. It also has another nice carrying handle like all the airbags. Uh, it is one of their classic uh, quick disconnect magnet latches, so that's kind of nice, really easy to use. Uh, on the outside of the bag though, we have the front pocket right here in the front. This one does have a little clip for your keys and you can clip like an air tag on there. Nice big pocket you can see. Now let's flip around to the back side of the bag. There's a nice little pocket back here. This one will be kind of more concealed to your chest when you had it on. Good little pocket to carry your passport in. I don't really have anything in here right now, but it's a nice size pocket. You can store lots of stuff in there. All right, well now let's take a look on the inside of this bag. So at the moment I have a few things in here just to show how it's size. Pretty much I have a, oh, I have a whole DJI RC remote in here, fits fine. Uh, I have a DJI Mini 3 Pro right in here, fits fine. You can also fit this, I have my uh, DJI Pocket 3 in here, fits fine. There's still plenty of room. I mean, there's tons of pockets in here for all kinds of stuff. You can fit a battery. I have some field notes, a glasses case. It has pockets up on the top too. Yeah, and then one zip pocket in there. So you can zip stuff up too. But overall, this bag's really big on inside. It has plenty of room, if you can see, compared to some of the other sling bags that Air makes. So now this is the Day Sling 3 Max next to the City Sling 2 here, just so you can see for size-wise. Now we can open up the inside of the City Sling 2 just so you can see size comparison compared to this one. I mean, it's huge compared to it. You pretty much could put the City Sling 2 into the uh, Day Sling 3 Max bag. But uh, yeah, if you're just looking for a little bigger bag for around cities and stuff, this is a great bag. This is the bag I use all the time at amusement parks. It's a great amusement park bag. Just because you can turn it into a fanny pack and then pretty much every amusement park lets you ride with a fanny pack on a roller coaster. So great bag. Well, thanks for watching my review on the Day Sling 3 Max X-Pack. Uh, that's a lot to say again. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little review on it and it helped you out make your purchase or not make your purchase. And as always, whatever you decide to do, just get out there and do it.